October raises awareness on breast cancer, the most commonly diagnosed cancer for women in the United States. And Katie Jones with the American Cancer Society now joins Mid Michigan Matters to share the importance of raising awareness on breast cancer and taking steps early to reduce your chance. Katie, we talked about earlier whether we're seeing cancer rise or decline, and what are you seeing in terms of breast cancer? Yes, so the American Cancer Society puts out facts and figures every year, so our breast cancer facts and figures went out in September, and um, we're seeing an overall um, increase about 1%, but the good news is there's been decline by 44% since 1989, that was kind of like the watermark year. Um, well, we are also seeing it disproportionately affecting different populations, so that's been, that is now a concern, and we really are trying to, like, through research funding and our cancer coalitions, like, finding out why. That research is a key part in yes. finding that why. Yes. So we fund more research than any other private organization in the country. The government is number one, and then us. Um, so research, yes, finding new treatment options, but also looking in, like, why are people not getting screenings in certain areas? Um, why is this treatment working for this population but not this population? So it's a wide range. That's very interesting yeah. you mentioned that, just finding the different uh, diverse areas and what that looks like. Mm -hmm. We talk about research improving modern medicine and yeah. technology, especially when it comes to early detection. What is the importance of going to get screened early, getting the mammograms and asking your doctors questions when you are concerned? Right, so we know when you are, when you find cancer early, you have more options. And that's always when you have the best outcomes. So um, mammography is still the best way of finding cancer. Um, our guidelines are, you know, talk to your doctor. If you have a high risk in your family, you might need to start earlier. But um, really, generally, everyone should have access at the age of 40. But everyone by 45 needs to be having yearly mammograms. Um, so that's like where... <laughs> All right, that's the overall Sorry, guidance. Sorry, that was a very No, that's okay. <laughs> that is the guidance right there. Is you need to talk to your doctor. <laughs> yes, early detection can help with those outcomes like you mentioned. And so how is the American Cancer Society making strides against breast cancer, right. especially with that research? So um, we are working to end cancer as we know it for everyone. So obviously, you know, we're talking about breast cancer today, but we do work with all cancers, um, just to make that clear. And then um, we focus on research like we talked about, but also patient services and advocacy. Um, I mentioned the government funds more research than anyone, way above everyone. So we had volunteers in Washington, D.C. advocating with our congressmen and our senators, making sure that people have access to tests and screenings and that they're funding research. But also we'll be at our capital, our state capital in March, doing the same thing, advocating for tobacco prevention funding and things that are really affecting Michiganders. Limiting the risk of cancer. Yeah. Katie, where can people go to donate, to volunteer, to learn more information on breast cancer? So cancer.org is a, our website. You can find information on volunteering, caregiver resources, cancer doesn't just affect the patient, survivor resources. Um, our most utilized programs are Road to Recovery, where volunteers will take patients to treatment, but we are having a volunteer shortage right now. <laughs> where we need volunteer drivers. So that's my final plug, uh, cancer.org slash drive to find out how you can be a volunteer driver. But 1-800-227-2345, 24 hours a day, we're there with information. And making a difference. Yes. Katie, thank you so much for joining. Thank you for having me. And we do want to send it over now to First Alert Meteorologist Justin Bradford to talk about the warming temperatures in the forecast. Justin.